Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm an environmental educator at the Environmental Learning Center in Vero Beach, Florida. And today I'm inviting you to take a closer look. Did you know that April is Citizen Science Month? Citizen Science is a collaboration between scientists and those of us who are just curious or concerned and motivated to make a difference. If you're new to Citizen Science, you can expect some common features from this type of project. First, anyone can participate. Second, participants will use the same data collection methods and protocols so we know the quality is high and it can be combined with other data sets. Third, this data will help real scientists come to real conclusions. And finally, a wide community of scientists and volunteers will work together to share this data with the public. The cool thing about citizen science is that you can be a scientist from anywhere. Here at the ELC, we developed a citizen science walk. Let's go check out one of the stops that you can easily replicate at home. Here at the pond, we are monitoring for dragonfly behavior and migration, one of the least studied phenomenon in the insect world. Can you believe they can travel further than the monarch butterfly? I've printed out the pictures of my dragonflies we'll be looking for today and my data collection sheet. Let's take a closer look and see what we can find. Take some time to relax outside and see what you can spot. Even if you don't see anything, mark down your observations because not finding anything is still meaningful data. If you don't have water near your house, don't worry. There are hundreds of citizen science projects you can do from home. Get online to find one that fits your interest. Everything from counting penguins in the Antarctic to identifying when mountain goats are molting to understand their relation to the climate warming. Check out some of the resources I have left for you here. Help us celebrate Citizen Science Month by finding a project that interests you and helps scientists achieve their goal. Thanks for joining me today, and please share what you find in the comment sections below.